Once you realize this one simple yet fundamental truth about your life, everything will inevitably change for you. It is the biggest reason why people struggle to manifest. And once you see it, you will be able to jump over this hurdle and attain the awareness of the Creator. As explained by Neville Goddard, you need to see your imagination as the only true reality. How do you just accept imagination is the only true reality? For most people, it seems to be too hard or too far-fetched to believe it, and I admit it. It doesn't come easy to accept that our thoughts hold all this power to create reality, as this requires responsibility. But this will blow your mind. It is challenging to accept that we created our current circumstances, as a lot of the time, we don't like what we attracted. But if you can now observe your life and see how the nature of your previous and dominant thoughts attracted your current reality, it won't be hard to accept that we indeed do create reality and that our imagination is the only true reality. This will speed up the manifestation immensely, as well as dismantle all of your worries and reoccurring problems. You will never beg for attention or seek validation outside of yourself if you take this seriously. If this information gets through to you, like you need it to. Example is always the best teacher. How will you truly accept your own beautiful imagination is behind what goes on in your life. Before you ever knew of the law, you would think of someone you maybe didn't see in a long time and didn't even hear for years, and they all of a sudden appear in your reality minutes, hours, or a few days later. They text you, or you run into them. Or maybe there's a song in your head, and you are walking through a bar, and they are playing it, or it pops up on the radio. Maybe it shows up in your feed. Or let's say you were going out and didn't feel like putting much effort in your looks. A thought crosses your mind how you are hoping you won't run into certain people. And there they are. As requested in your imagination, you run into them. Those synchronicities are solid proof how thoughts materialize around you. There is nothing in this world that you will see that wasn't first imagined. Unfortunately, most of the time, unconsciously. Nobody but you knows how your life is playing out. But I am sure you can remember moments of incredible coincidence without realizing it is not. Wherever you place your attention is where the energy will go. The energy goes where attention flows. So everything in your reality is you pushed out. The assumptions you make for the events and people in your life will project outwards. Your thoughts and assumptions have an impact on your reality just as much as what you are actively and directly doing. Your imagination is your position of power. You change the reflection of the world around you by changing your imagination. Quantum physics explains in the double slit experiment how the particles of matter move in the direction that the observer assumes. So every experiment performed on waves and particles that create all form show different results. And this is because every researcher had their own projection of what results to expect. This ended up proving our assumptions shape how particles behave and this creates our reality. Imagination is the only true reality, and the 3D world around you is a reflection. So now that you are aware of this, let's say you are a people pleaser, and you find yourself in a situation where you feel like you are begging for approval. Don't feel bad for it, as we all need to feel approved sometimes, until we become aware of the fact that they don't care is also a reflection. Your job isn't to chase anyone's approval. Your job consists of going inside of your imagination and imagine it already done. You have it. They are praising you. They love what you do and how you do it. You are a freaking miracle. See it in your imagination. Feel the excitement you have. Feel it as truth because you now know that imagination is the only true reality in your position of power. Your imagination will externalize. Next time you are in any situation, where you would prefer a different treatment. First see it and feel it in your imagination. Now I need to mention one common mistake people make. You are not on a quest to convince yourself of something you have not yet experienced. The feeling is that of already having it. I'd want your whole mind in it, whatever it is, a car, a house, a girlfriend, marriage, health, you already have it. You already have it. How does it feel? 
feel the excitement of having it. Your imagination is the real reality. How do you feel now that you are aware that the form will follow? You really do already have it as through your imagination is how you order it. If it is in here, in your imagination, it is in the real reality. Assume it and the particles will move to reflect exactly that what you assume. Listen to this as many times as you need to, but never lose sight of this information. Take a screenshot of it if you need to and go back to this information whenever you get into a reaction mode or you need some wind in your back to keep you on track. Read it again and again until it settles in your mind as the truth. Some people watch a video without following through on what is said. Even if that was you in the past, I beg you to not take this lightly as you will experience a beautiful life you don't need a break from. Once you accept and feel something as yours in your imagination, and believe your imagination comes before the creation of reality, you will no longer need to manifest anything. You don't need to worry about anything ever again. You don't need to feel out of control. Absorb into you only the evidence that support your desire is on its way. This is called navigating the intention by transurfing reality we will speak of in future videos. You have it in your imagination, and that is all it takes as your imagination is the only true reality. You are that powerful. That is our design by God. That is the real truth. As Neville Goddard explains, when a man identifies himself with his imagination rather than what he can perceive with his senses, he has discovered the core of reality. No matter what happens around you, go within yourself, feel your reality in your imagination, and remain still. The world has always been and always will be a mirror of your relationship to it. What do you expect from the world, from life, and from your future? Ask yourself, do you assume to have it good or bad? This realization is an important step to navigating your future assumptions. Your imagination is how you inform your world of how you want to be taken care of. So if you were in a situation, and I trust we all were, where people were rude to us, did you know they were only reflecting your relationship to yourself? They are a mere echo of your existing insecurities. Neville Goddard explains how you can want something and still not manifest it. This is because, and this is so important to grasp. You don't attract what you want, but rather you attract what you believe to be true. You must remain still and not judge by appearances. If you look back, you will always be enslaved by the current evidence your five senses can perceive. Someone asked Neville during one of his lectures why he doesn't get results when he read on how to manifest in all sorts of different ways. He replied, We are called upon to be the doers of the word. You can read my books over and over. You can tell everyone what the book holds. But if you don't apply the message, mere reading or listening to it will not get you far. But if you test your imagination, it will prove itself to you in performance. Break the pattern of endless reacting to what you yourself have attracted and remember words of Neville Goddard. When a man identifies himself with his imagination rather than what he can perceive with his senses, he has discovered the core of reality. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe.